Hi guys, my name's Nitz and I'm going to show you how to manually remove some files from your server. Now, um, the reason I'm doing this is because a friend of mine um, wanted to install WordPress and there was a problem or a mistake and she wants to install it again but um, a message came up saying um, she couldn't do it until she manually removed the last installation. Okay, so what we've done is we've signed in to the control panel at HostGator. So you might be with, um, you know, just host or whatever. They all, most of them have these control panels. So we're going to go down once we're signed in, move down and go to this section files and then press on file manager. Okay, now we've got to choose where we want to go. Now I want to go into this one. Okay, okay. Right, now press go. Now I'm going into the um, section of that domain where all the files are. Okay, so it just takes a minute to load up. Now, here it is right in front of me. Now here's the folders that she needs to delete to install another WordPress. So it's the WP-admin, the content, and the includes. They're the three folders that have been installed. Now all we have to do is delete them. So we're going to select it and right click on it and then press delete. Okay, and it's going to say, are you sure? We're going to go, yep, delete the file. Now we'll just do that for the rest of them. Delete and delete. We'll do it again. Okay, that's it. Now don't delete anything else, okay? Now these are the actual files that WordPress installed, okay? So we'll leave this, okay, the way it is. Don't touch anything else. Um, I'm only doing this because um, WordPress actually listed the three files that I needed to get rid of. I don't suggest that you go around deleting files because you'll muck everything up. Okay, um, right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close this because we're finished with it. So I'm just going to press the cross up the top. Just quickly go up there. Okay, now, so we're back here. Okay, so now I'm going to see if that WordPress will install now. So I'll go down and click on uh, Fantastico Deluxe and click on the WordPress link. And then we're going to press on New Installation. Right. And now we're going to choose where we want it to go. So I'll just push that one there. And we leave that blank because we want it to go in straight into the directory. We don't want to make a subdomain or anything like that. Okay. <coughs> um, and then we're going to put some details in down here. Okay. So I'm just going to pause the video for a minute, uh, put the details in, and then I'm going to press on Install WordPress. Okay guys, um, the installation went through, and um, all we have to do is press on um, this, and we can sign in here now. Um, so it's ready to go. Alright, I'll just show you there. There we go. So it's waiting for me to sign in and go and edit the website. Alright, um, thanks for watching.